Hello, we're going to install 3CX in just a moment here. I'll click on the install file, which did not take very long to, to download, it's only about 30 megabytes. We'll click run. Now this will grow off center there, but no worries on that. Shows you all the requirements that we need to do which I think we meet those because we've already had it installed before. We'll click Next. Once again, showing the recommendations. I don't think we have IIS installed. We're just going to use Cassini. Agree with that license agreement, which I'm not sure what fire departments have to do with it, but uh, we'll click Next. Next. We're going to use Cassini since I don't have IIS or the CD in to install IIS. And Cassini does seem to work, although IIS is the preferred according to 3CX. We'll click install. And we'll do it, does a bit of copying here. It might be several minutes. And I don't think we'll make you wait on that. I think I'll just pause the recording. We'll be back as soon as the copying's all done. Oh, right, we're back there. I think it might have took about two minutes while it went through that. And then we're, and you really had to do nothing during that time, it was just copying files. Okay, and we'll click finish here. All right, and then it looks like we have a wizard we need to go through. Wondering what language, we'll hit English. How many digits? We'll want three, which is very standard. Zip domain. I think we can just let that to default. Because I use, uh, in our system here, we always use IP addresses. Oh, looks like it's requiring us 192.168.15. And maybe I better make sure what that is. So you're going to see the WIP client pop up here. Because I forget. Yep, looks like it's 130. So we'll minimize that again. Next. And I'm not going to bother. I could type it in, but I'm going to pass on that too. Yep, looks like it's requiring it. Next, I'm going to get a quick password in there. And then it wants you to add some extensions, which I believe I'm going to just skip that for now. I think I can do that. That wants at least one, so I guess we'll do that. This is new for me. I'm used to version 6 of 3CX, which did not require this. putting a bogus and I don't have that information so I can let that but click add all right should let us get past there and we're gonna let the we'll probably change that later on but for now we'll let that 100 we're not gonna bother with VoIP gateway right now looks like it's configuring the database I think this goes fairly quickly now maybe I'll just pause it so you don't have to wade through or wait through that. So I'll pause it and be back in just a minute. Okay, back again. Once again, that probably took about half a minute, but just didn't want to make you wait while I went through it. And next, I'm gonna it's going to want to put our information in here. Uh, I think I'm just going to ignore that and I'll come back to that after. So click next. Oh, let's see if we can skip it. Finish. Yeah, I'm not used to this. I was used to used to 
directly going into the interface and doing it, but I think this will work okay too. Once again, while we wait for that to load, I might, nope, oh, there it popped right up. We had typed in admin and go before, and we'll just do that again. And there we are. That was, that gets us set up. Now we have an extension there, 100. So what I'll do is set that extension up. Now I'll come up with the next little snippet of training. Thank you.